Hello and good evening everyone. We're back in Spare Room Studio for a special presentation tonight. Thank you for those of you who are joining from the Emperor Facebook page. We've got a great show. The, hopefully, conclusion of our Horsemen of Wei Ching story here finishes up tonight with the third and hopefully final episode. Uh, we're going to get right into it. So, let's go ahead, pull up the game. Uh, as always, uh, if you see any Oops, if you see any flashes on your screen, don't worry. Uh, totally normal. It's just me trying to get the game going. Here we go. Alright, nothing broke. Good sign. Alright. Let's resume our campaign. So, we are in part three. So, We've got the Northern Desert, the Battle of Moby. I am hope I'm saying that right here. So we need 200 people in an impressive compound or better. We already have a population of over 3,000, so we've already completed that objective. We have a great temple built. We have two ally cities required. We need to rule two cities, so we need to rack up another one. And we need a treasury of 100,000, of which we only have 10,000. So we've got a bit of work to do. Oops, no, I don't want to quit. Alright, so, we have humble compounds, so we're going to need to work on a Confucian Academy in order to upgrade these. Thankfully, we can build a Confucian Academy. The challenge is going to be, where can we put said Confucian Academy? Because right now we are in a bit of a bind space-wise. Got an idea here. Ooh, we've got an invasion coming. All right, they're hungry for more land. They will invade your city in five months. All right. All right, invaders are coming. We should probably work on building some defenses. Unfortunately, we can't build upon sand dunes. We can do our best to try to wall off this section here, prevent invaders from hopping in over the rocks. Again, we can build some walls here. I'll help kind of seal off our border a little bit. There we go. All right, I'll work on putting towers up later, but at least this way we can start to limit where we can be invaded from. Joe Goff is thankful for cash. That's nice. Yeah, glad they like it. I already know I'm not going to be able to build a proper wall there, but... At least we can try to limit our vulnerabilities as best we can. I might just shave a little bit of hemp off there. Sorry, hemp farm. But I really don't want to have enemies being able to surprise me from over there. Alright. Uh, this is just going to have to be a little... Oh, fire in the city. Ooh, looks like our new neighborhood is a little bit of trouble over there. Alright. How are we doing on workforce? We're not doing too bad. Still got to deal with that fire, though. Inspectors are all over it. Dismiss that. Alright, two months, they're coming. Let's start dispersing some of our troops. In the event that we are attacked, I'd like to make sure that we are good and prepared. Protect my industries as best we can. All 
think that should be pretty good. Oh, we'll put one down there for now. All right, one month they're coming. Oh, let's see. Yu Zhang attacks Zhang. Keep this quiet. Our common enemy has developed a weakness in its defenses. Now it's perfect. If I can borrow some troops, send them to me in four months, and you can share in the glory. I'm going to postpone for right now. Because I need all of my troops to help in the defense of my own city. Otherwise, we are going to be in a world of hurt. Got impressive compounds. All right. Fight for the defense of our city. We need first responders. Come on, boys. There's a party going on. We don't want to be late. running through the streets. Come on, cavalry. Gotta contain that invasion force as best we can. Let's get those cavalrymen inbound. We may be able to flank on the north of that hill where our farms are. Not very well. Alright, that's the last of my troops. Let's hope that we can hold them off. Whoa! Uh, no. Remind me later. I don't care about updates, thank you, Windows. All right, cavalry are inbound, but we are getting overrun pretty quickly. Time to get off the streets. My skills are going to be needed once the enemy is driven off. All right, we are flanking. Enemy is upon us! Enemy is upon us! Did you pack everything? Uh, I was hoping for a funnier one. Oops, to die through. These taxes belong to the city administrators. Not the marauding brigands. Alright, move in. Less racks of weapons. Hey, we've got our own invasion to deal with. We've defeated the invasion force. All right, we've successfully survived. Well, not by much. We lost a lot of troops. Now, I guess I did have one. Some troops still in reserve there that I could have used. We can have a happy new year. Togoth wants to pay me, but of course I don't have any warehouse space. Sure, I've got all my troops back. Oh, still got a couple there. Back in the forts. Is everyone back home? 
everyone's home. Ooh, we got a lot of workers needed. A bit of a population. Uh-oh. Economic decline at Togoth, that's not good. Let's take a look at the world here. Still sympathetic, which is good. Zhang New Empire. We'll send a spy up there. We'd like to see what they've got going on. We've discovered them, but we haven't been able to figure out much out uh, out about them quite yet. Oh, you know what we can angry. Oh boy. can we do here? Spices? Alright, now at least you're just unhappy. Start working on build, rebuilding the military. The forges are running quite well. Suffers famine. Alright, we'll send them some food. Probably don't need to buy quite as many spices. Right, we need appeal of the neighborhood to increase. Pretty area. Highly desirable. This is very appealing. Some people you just can't help. Think of us more highly, that's good. Right, we need the appeal of this neighborhood to be a little bit nicer over here. I've got 90 people in that impressive compound. Unfortunately, we're going to need that Confucian Academy in order to continue. Stick one in over here. There we go. Alright, we'll fix the appeal there. Appeal, we're gonna put in some trees. Alright, Confucian Academy, that's what we need. We'll get that academy up and running. Alright, so how's this empire here? Hostile. They don't like me. I am gonna have to tech I'm gonna have to take them out eventually. Send out a spy to take out their military. Twenty-four workers needed. We're in a little bit of a slump, but we've got space for more houses. Let's clear out some of this clay.
I need weapons. Gotta make a special purpose warehouse here. Get weapons. 20 wor 20 weapons. Use this to help us stockpile weapons. Alright. We should be able to produce weapons. Lots of more pop, more room for housing. People are coming in. It's not that I disapprove of the wild animals, there's just nothing left to hunt over there. Building up the military. Weapons are coming on in, which is good. Buy more stone, okay. That's a good sign. Sell all the stone we can. Of weapons streaming in here. Make a quick little detour around that way there. Increase the efficiency of our walkers. Lots of iron bars sitting around. We got 600 weapons. We should get some more here soon. Back, let's fire up another weaponsmith. Run through some of these iron bars. Happy New Year. We'll take special gifts. Bushels of wheat and a vulture in our menagerie. Alright, we'll take the vulture. Confucius says, He who keeps the old akindo and has new knowledge is fit to be a teacher. We got some unemployment. Let's fire up the cavalry forts. Only 500 weapons were running out of them. Uh-oh. Uh... Well, I don't quite have the weapons. I'm getting them. Fortunately, I'm supplying my own 
military first here. All right, here comes a new delivery of weapons. 800, we're getting there. All right, dispatch. There we go. All right, there we go. We may not be great, but... All right, these guys are pretty weak right now. We might be able to take them. Send them on a rampage. All right, I'm gonna send them off on campaign. We'll work on training the rest of our troops. We have to work on this treasury, though. Good news is. Getting more people in that impressive compound. All right, we can dispatch the stone. Space there. All right, well, they're not too happy with us there. There's the Confucian Scholar. Most of our fancy houses up there. All right, 204 people qualify. We just need to rule two cities and buff up that treasury. Right, they like us, and we conquered the M the Zhang New Empire. Excellent. That should satisfy our other requirement of ruling two cities. Now we just need to crank up the uh, money-making machine here. All right. Let's see what we can trade with Zhang Nu. Oh, we can sell them spices and silk, which really doesn't help us much. Is game meat cheap? 34 versus... nope. Not much cheaper. Our victorious warriors return. Oh, Togoth giving us back some stone. Our victorious warriors, after taking over the Zhang New Empire. All right, send our boys back home. do that. What I do want to do is save my game. Let me just try one thing here real quick. Just to make sure that my
Stream is still good. All right, we're still on. There we go. Sometimes some of my background stuff has given me indications that things aren't quite so good. Thankfully, we've got that fixed. All right, with 44 workers needed. Get that carved jade going. I don't even want empty that out of there. Don't need carved jade. Sell it. I'm unhappy. All right, let's clear out some spices. It's an expensive offering, but we need to clear it out of our stores. Lots of stone. Need to get get rid of some of that though. If there is a faster overland passage, which I believe there is. That may make cut down the time it takes for us to get to the trading stations opening up that travel lane. Maximum. And continue to work on our military. Oh, what happened here? Acupuncturus needs to swing by, it looks like. The people have not been paying proper respect to their ancestors. Our city may suffer misfortune. Looks like the acupuncturist hasn't been by in quite a while. Oh, there he is. He's making a swing there. We'll get another acupuncturist swinging by there soon. We can have a happy new year. Accept that jade. Got our Jade Carver Studios working overtime here. Clear up some hemp from the warehouses. I'm okay with selling a little bit of hemp. Maybe we can try to make some money off of it. Ceramics, that's something we could crank out too. We can crank out some ceramics with all that extra clay. Extra warehouse space there, should we need it? Alright, let's get into ba budget balancing mode here, because we know we have the right recipe, we just need to make some more money. Yeah, 
they're not exactly thrilled with us. Give them some spices. Give them some salt. Everybody else is happy with us. Alright, more cavalry. Ninety-four percent of the population is seen by the taxman, with the exception of the kind of the poor area up there. Not doing quite as well. More people are streaming in. Plenty good on food. I need stone, we can send stone. That's a lot of millet. in there and that'll clear up some space. Treasury is improving there. Looks like we had some weapons purchases. Let's get another kiln running. Ramp up our monetary gains here. All we need is that big treasury, and we've got this. Whoa, that don't look right. Aye, my cover is blown. I better hide quickly. I seen a uh, an announcer this far in the industrial area. Usually means we've got a spy on our hands. All right. What else do we need? Fire in the city! Oh, I had a feeling I needed an inspector tower over there. Oh boy, we've got a bit, must have a bit of a population slump again. Performers at the market square. Seven horsemen. All right, once we get this going at a good rate, we can crank up the speed here and see if we can accelerate our cash flow. done there. Let's continue working on our cavalry. That looks Aye. fake again. Aye. My cover is blown. Oh. I better hide Try quickly. Again. Concentrate. Oh, we've reduced the amount of iron in reserve, which is good. of some wheat. That'll clear up some space in the warehouse. I'm on my way, but I'll surely be back for another trading day.
Alright, population is good. We've got plenty of food. In fact, I'm going to reduce the amount of food that we buy. Since we've got plenty of it. We'll just keep an eye on it. Alright, let's try this here. Speed. Game speed. We're going to amp it up here to 100%. I'm just going to let this run and see if we can grow our treasury a bit. Sympathetic. Alright, not bad. Alright, let's let that treasury grow a bit here. Up the tax rate a little bit. Weapons. Alright. We're going to try to hold some weapons. Treasury's growing a little bit. We've got a thousand. Happy New Year. Fourteen hundred. I'm working on it. Eighteen racks. Seventeen hundred. Eighteen hundred. Send them off. All right. Sorry. All right. We can turn off that one. Turn that one on. Got carved jade flying off the shelves now. Anybody else take carved jade? some odd people. What's going on here? Oh, you know what? You really need to work on this acupuncturist. You need wood. How much do you need? 11 stacks. All right, we can get rid of those weapons. Oh. That's the Confucian Academy we need. We're at 20,000, we're getting there. here. 
fix that. Twenty-four, we're still cranking it up. Apparently we are creating carved jade at an alarming rate. Still seems to be the biggest thing we can push. Confucius says, Happy New Year, we're 27. Kinder, and adds new knowledge is fit to be a teacher. A little bit of unemployment, not too bad. One weaponsmith here. Where we keep a good stock going to the others. We're at 30,000. About a third of the way there. We just gotta keep cranking it up. Let's see anywhere else where we can cut back, perhaps. Food stores are pretty good, actually. Although here we don't need quite as much salt. Happy New Year. Accept some jade here. Yeah, the jade flies off the shelves. Oh, salt mines are falling down. Fourteen racks of weapons. I just saw a spy go through. Fortunately, I am it's running too fast, I couldn't see where he went. Alright, we're at 39, almost 40. Sympathetic, sympathetic. Loyal, loyal, good. Let's give out a gift of vulture. Because who doesn't want to receive a vulture as a gift? Dispatch the weapons. Empty out the rest. Shut down some of the carb jade. Not able to sell all of it that we're creating. I could just throw it in that warehouse. Alright, 40,000. We are climbing here. Happy New Year. Yep. Accept. Accept. There we go. We've been exporting some salt, which is great. A lot of stone. We can move 
some of that stone a little bit closer. Happy New Year, we're at 45. The old Akindo and adds new knowledge is fit to be a teacher. Population slump again. Stone out of there and into the trading station. Confucius says he who keeps the old Akimbo and has no money. 99, we're almost halfway there to our treasury goal. And we'll focus in on our fancy housing. Thousand. We're halfway there. Oh, oh boy. We better make sure our ancestors are being happy. Appreciate the uh, enthusiasm there, Shandong, but not necessary. You got a salamander? All right. All right, 56, 55, almost. Let's find another spot for a clay pit. Population slightly growing over time. We're almost there. Ooh, salt mine fell down. Why those salt mines aren't doing too good? Let's get logging. Just don't know that we produce a ton of wood. 62,000, we're getting there. World is still happy. Uh, no wood yet. with these salt mines. All right, 65. else we can cut back on. Right, we're going to jack up the taxes a little bit.
Okay, we can accept that. Turn off Jade. Ooh, Spy has been reversed. The Zhongnu Empire. Watch out for those guys. We're 70% to our goal. I want to make sure these guys are are staying kind of happy. Fortunately, I'm not doing a very good job with this wood request right now. Clay pits. We have way too many people on the clay pits. Let's clear some of it out. Long D, appreciate it. Not necessary. Ooh, that's no good. that. Alright, we gotta figure out what's going on with our population. It's dropping off pretty high here. 400, holy cow. percent of the way there. Oh, we need weapons now. Okay. Twelve racks of weapons. Let's remove our weapons. We need that down to sixteen. Still have a lot of workers needed. All right, dispatch. Weapons are off. All right, 82% of the way there. All right, they're a little happier toward us. Our vassals are loyal. 83%. No, that must have been. Population dip. Let's keep offering clay to clear it out. All right, we'll accept that. 88% of the way there. Let's 
clear out some of the stone. Go clear out the carved jade. Still have a big population gap, but we are close to our hundred thousand goal. We almost made it. Ninety-five percent of the way there. Just need a couple more traders to come on through. Ninety-seven. Eight, we're almost there. Ninety-nine. We're gonna dial it back down here toward the end. I'm gonna go back to normal speed at eighty percent. Game runs so much slower now. It's been a long, dusty road, but I finally arrived to unpack this heavy load. Alright, so once the traders come in, we'll hit our 100,000 here, hopefully. Alright, he sold more than we bought. We need a Confucian Academy, apparently. Ah, there's the scholar right now. The people failing to study Master Confucius's teachings. Their virtue and humanity are far from perfect. Now we just need a few more folks to move in, and we can claim victory. Still 185, needs a few more people to come on in. The sage seeks freedom from desire. Not grasping at ideas, brings men back when they are lost, and helps them find the Tao. I feel uneasy about moving to a new city. I feel worried too much. I think we're prosperous. Alright, 190. We're getting there. One ninety-five. Two hundred! Let's hold it for one month, and then we've got victory. As long as we don't spend any more money. Oh no, something, something devolved. Oh no. Just when it looked like we were going to hit it. Shrine in there, and hopefully that'll hold, 
keep things held down. I'm going to delete that one. So close there. We just gotta work on our religious piece here. Fancy houses all built up. Let's just keep it that way. The Confucian says, He who keeps the old akinda and adds new knowledge is fit to be a teacher. All right, there we go. Battle of Moby, complete. Battle of Moby has concluded with a complete victory for the Han. The power of the Xiongnu in the Gobi Desert has been broken, and the remnants have retreated far to the north and west. I know I'm going to say this wrong, but Da Xing Cheng stands strong as the Han commandery on the frontier of the Gobi Desert. A shrine to your victory has been erected in its great temple. Your strategic vision and tactical precision has solidified your reputation as one of Han's greatest military minds, General Wei Qing. Your use of cavalry has revolutionized it as a vital component of the Han arsenal. Whenever someone recounts the tales of the horsemen of Wei Qing, your name is spoken with awe. Emperor Wu Di has summoned you to Chang'eng, where you will serve out the remainder of your years in his service as defense minister and imperial advisor. Hey, not too shabby. Even I land a new job at the end of this. So, that, I believe, if we proceed. All right, let's go into the post-game here as we conclude our victory. So historically, the Xiongnu Empire was able to escape total destruction from the invasions of Wei Qing and Hu Qubing. However, they never recovered from this defeat. In later years, rebellions and internal strife further weakened them. The end of the Han Xiongnu War is officially recorded as 89 Common Era, when the Han caught and defeated the last Xiongnu army. Wei Qing is remembered as one of the Han's finest generals. He lived a rags to riches life and eventually held great power in the Han court. Even though he was a favorite of Emperor Wu Di, it is said that he remained a humble man. Congratulations on successfully completing this campaign. For design notes, background information, and mission hints about this campaign, you can read that in the README text that you received. Horseman of Wei Qing was designed by Guelo. So, thank you very much for joining me on this third and final installment of our Horseman of Wei Qing adventure. If you missed any of the prior two episodes, you can go back and view those. We've got those for you online on YouTube. Just go ahead and search for Reeb64, Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom, or the Horseman of Wei Qing. You'll be able to find that for your viewing convenience. Um, thank you so much for uh, for watching here this evening. Special thanks to Guilo or Tim. Uh, he's been the one who's been creating these campaigns. It's always fun to play along and uh, challenge myself to play some of these new campaigns. Always a great time. And thank you for the folks uh, coming over from the Emperor Facebook page, taking a look and watching along with me here today. Enjoyed having you along for the ride. That'll do it for me here for tonight. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next stream.